Hi, um, I am Judy Noah from Davis Community Television, and we're doing a show called Street Talk. And what we'd like to ask you today is, what is your opinion? Should President Clinton be removed from office or not, and why? Actually, I don't believe on impeachment. Uh, I think President, he's, he did a good job, and he's uh, still doing it. And I definitely like him to uh, stay in office. Hi, my name is Tron Pham, and I'm from um, Davis Community Television. We're doing a show called Street Talk, and the question I have for you is, do you feel that Bill Clinton should be removed from office? Why or why not? Um, someone who is unfaithful, that seems like a high crime to me. And if the world were faithful, we might not have to go down and mine forests like in Indonesia. In the early 70s, a tribe apparently almost had it together down there, and the alpha male got too hungry, and Western cities got built up and we see the consequences today. Habits like tobacco. Um, I don't feel he should be removed from office at all. Um, because I, I think that the uh, impeachment proceedings are, uh, or the impeachment process should be reserved for uh, crimes against the Republic. Um, crimes or high crimes which Un destabilize the republic, destabilize the country, and are a threat to the stability of the government. And I don't feel that uh, any crimes he may or may not have committed uh, reach that level, and that the proceedings to this point are um, an effort to smear him and hurt him politically. And, I mean, he may be like Willie. a cad. <laughs> But I don't think he's a threat to the republic. Thank you. And how about you? Um, how do you feel? Well, I think it's just a partisan process right now. And so for that reason alone, don't think that he should be impeached. I uh, feel vehemently that he shouldn't be impeached. Um, and furthermore, I think that uh, I hold out the hope that this is going to be a watershed event in this country. Uh, this country has not always been Republican-Democrat. There are, have been other parties uh, throughout our history. And hold out the hope that this will uh, spur the rise of uh, some third party that uh, can you know, break this partisan stronghold that we have. So. Because I think uh, p uh, polygamy or cheating on your wife is a high crime itself. I don't think he should be impeached simply because of the sex that he's alleged to have done. But if he has lied, I think that's a serious problem. I mean, and, and misled people and kind of tried to beat the justice system. But I don't think just because what he's done in the bedroom warrants him not being president. It's the other things, I think, that are more serious. But in the end, I hope he doesn't get impeached because it'll look kind of, you know, asinine, if you can use that word. I don't know if... St. Augustine was uh, minding the means or justifying the ends, but he wrote the City of God, and he, and he said about Rome, he said, Rome was the city of man, and it ultimately fell. And it, as we know, we've delineated from Roman culture, and there's a lot to respect there. Um, I taught in Fairfield for a year. I'm a 1996 graduate of Humboldt State University, and the gang kids call it Fairtown, so I think it's about survivorship. And the pluribus unum, from one come many, from many come one, like in The Wizard of Oz, uh, the movie, or The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, the book by Frank L. Baum. And uh, I think justice will come, but I think it's essential that Clinton's impeached. I think that if it is proven that he has committed a crime that constitutes an impeachable offense and the trial is just and thorough, then, you know, it's up to those people to make that decision. Well, you know, he's going to be removed. And um, I think to continue the the, um, the escapade in the Senate right now is, is really actually kind of silly. He's not going to be removed. And uh, I think what he did is was wrong and so forth. But I don't know if it rises to the level of for impeachment or not. It's basically a political um, uh, issue, really. It was with uh, Andrew Johnson, too. And uh, so I think it's basically a fiasco now. That's, that's what I have to say anyway. 
I know George Burns, but I could go on all day if necessary.